Hi guys, finally my annual field trip to Peraga store, to the Christmas shop store and it is Saturday, October the 12th, 2024, 25 past 12 p.m. As usual, I'm here around the lunchtime to avoid crowd inside and to uh, allow me to shoot videos of everything is interesting and uh, not the perfect day uh, I can show you the sky right now okay uh, not very sunny but not very cloudy uh, and it is a luck considering what we had here uh, during the past week but everywhere in the northern hemisphere i think it was an awful week for weather and peraga peraga is at uh, 40 kilometers from torino from turin uh, 25 miles from turin northern italy and uh, during the normal season this is uh, an hardware store, a garden store, etc. But from October uh, to uh, December, to late December, they open the biggest uh, the Christmas department ale I ever seen, at least here in Northern Italy. Uh, nothing compared to what they had in Netherlands, but and by the way this is a garden guys i have all the trees behind me okay sorry for my awful face and uh, perfect day i think i don't know what i will find and uh, they just opened uh, last sunday so five days ago uh, i hope they hadn't finished everything guys i'm getting a little behind me because for being in uh, in at mid October uh, <laughs> the garden here is uh, still um, very 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 colorful okay guys uh, oh yes those ex exceptionally those ones the everything here purple etc absolutely wonderful garden they have here even with some water effect, the water feature like that. Okay, sorry for the noise, but I am not three meters from the road. And so this is a beautiful place. And uh, let's get inside, um, hoping to find something. I'm still not convinced about a building to buy for this 2024 season because I'm uncertain. I've uh, marked the three of them and but I don't know maybe some figurines etc but it's always a surprise in here so let's get inside.
Well guys, finally inside, it is a little too crowded, even if it is lunch time and I'm far away as possible from the copyrighted music and uh, I will uh, start by showing you as usual what they did uh, as uh, Christmas villagers here they usually do some small villages, a series of small villages and that I already seen them uh, getting uh, here in these uh, absolutely and uh, not absolutely, almost a soundproof corner. I'm uh, in the spooky section right now that I will show you something. But uh, let me let me swap for a minute. No, I will show you everything because I'm <laughs> looking at something very interesting right now. Too big but very interesting. So I will start showing you around hoping that some of the people inside here will go to lunch in order to be free to film without lousy lousy comments around me but anyway they are in italian and not in english so let me go towards the villages they they set up Good guys, I'm starting from uh, the spooky one here behind the glass obviously because uh, in a couple of weeks it will be Halloween and uh, this is one of the most beautiful collection I've already said from Lemax because they are perfect look at the marmor there so and I will repeat once again myself if this wasn't a collection to get up and run for just a couple of weeks I will surely be doing it I'm doing a graveyard you know for my 2024 Christmas village but even this one is not that bad as you can see and uh, some are old attraction from last season some are new okay the zombie uh, the gloom uh, is from last season <clears throat> the full moon here is absolutely wonderful maybe i can go a little closer and with the wolf they are getting down and here the full moon dinner uh, signpost getting around and showing a wolf a werewolf, a werewolf okay I hope I said it correctly and uh, the hotel heaven they are also new but this is absolutely an amazing collection guys absolutely amazing look at that monument there wonderful okay everything here for, for spooky town is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous look at the trees there naked trees naked trees etc absolutely wonderful i'm here uh some, oh yes it is from what i show you last season the the elevator going up 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 and then crashing on the bam there crashing something are new, something some others are not this is classic uh, Lemax stairs there 
but guys they did an amazing job with this spooky tunnel look at this tree there very spooky <laughs> the monsters there I hope you remember the series the TV series the monsters okay Herman monster and his wife I don't remember her name right now <clears throat> but it is amazing as I said here guys and the hugest section I think with uh, some mountain etc here in the corner just only facades some are new some are not and uh, those uh, uh, market store there these those ones are from this season uh, some are beautiful something are not simply because they miss some lights inside but I don't think they are that bad okay and then the tree is from last season as I already told you I'm hearing an awful sound that I don't know what is that awful sound and these facade here look at the tree there the effect with the LEDs on the tree not that bad oh yes the awful sound is from the fanfare there with the two little guys got getting down boom like that okay falling down um, classic houses I don't have too much light right now in here but it is supposed to be like that so those market stores interesting interesting market store there uh, something classic getting around these two it can be added uh, to your Christmas villages facades if you like facades I don't like them <coughs> because there isn't depth with those buildings yes very beautiful effect but as always <coughs> I'm sorry guys as always I was saying Lemax uh, continue to do buildings that can be used only from the main facade and nothing else the giant carousel there with it, it, it is a strange they have understood that they couldn't do a giant carousel without um, without uh, children getting on the horses and other things and getting around this season they made something very interesting look at the railroad they have that goes around even from the other side with just the loco, the locomotive coming right now here and getting around they invented some bridges because those are not from Lemax, absolutely not but it is ingenious, not even the, um, the railroad is from Lemax because those are the same rails I, I'm using and I know that Lemax don't have those rails in a catalog some other attraction here guys the music box there okay I know uh, those are the novelties for this 2024 season the music box there but guys okay having such a building and look at the postman there smaller than the handle of the music box with the two pigeons getting right and left the little ballerina inside the music box there that opens but I'm not hearing any sounds then uh, some classical things it is beautiful yes but not realistic as always that's something I always told to, to you guys they do magnificent buildings but not realistic guys yes it is good for um for movements okay but come on guys even the christmas cake factory is brand new for this 2024 season beautiful yes the big giant cake on top getting all around some small cakes getting uh, from inside and those one getting inside from the top to down uh, but yes good for movement but non-realistic I know some of you are hating me 
right now but as always this is unrealistic guys sorry if I get there it is more for children okay I get it but in Caddington village having something like that because I will remember you that Caddington village Victorian era Caddington village is the main collection from Lemax except spooky town okay uh, in what concern the Christmas villages not the spooky town the Halloween villages Caddington collection is the main collection and those buildings come on do you really think they fit perfectly into a Victorian era Christmas village even before industrial time guys uh, beautiful I can't deny that they are absolutely amazing beautiful well designed etc but exaggerated that's why <coughs> I'm always struggling to add a good correct movement to my Christmas village okay and the Christmas groove skating rink there with the band okay I should have thought about that in my uh, Alice in Wonderland uh, team at the section to add some movement is simply a matter of adding two magnets under my figurines and then a motor getting uh, one turn uh, clockwise and one turn counterclockwise and the movement voila it is done maybe for next season I will simulate also that movement the trees are from last season okay etc the observatory they mix it and no the eggnog there is new from this for this 2024 season the eggnog and here you have um, some Santa's Wonderland building mixed with other standard buildings guys okay let me continue I will show you the other buildings when I will get around to the other side so here last season here we had the Norman Rockwell section all dedicated to the Norman Rockwell I haven't seen it maybe because it is very very expensive and it uh, it added to the success it should uh, the success sorry it should have it should add okay and so i haven't seen around any normal rockwell building this is the carnival section guys amazing this one but giant guys this is more than 30 centimeters in diameter but this spin out is amazing those one you knew from past the season even the um, free fall there bloom there and the giant wheel as always the big top there and figurines I don't see new figurines <coughs> no I don't see them and they mix it even a spooky town uh, attraction here Wow, this should have been in the spooky town section guys but amazing maybe it was too big for the spooky town section or they received it uh, in a last last minute shipment but amazing these uh, this attraction here with the little cart getting around there and those one getting a fall down here with the giant skeleton ghost there absolutely magnificent and the giant wheel you knew it, you know it this one too the crazy cars is not new and this is the infamous giant carousel with <laughs> just horses and no children on the horses they should have not put it there maybe they have a, a big amount of units in storage so they needed to sell it but if they place it there the other carousel the one you have seen back uh, some minutes ago it would have been a better effect the trees are always the same the campfire there so here guys I'm from the other side something 
okay the train is from Ornby okay now I know the brand because this is uh, the regulator the speed regulator and Ornby uh, maybe I can get a little closer here but I don't know how but you can see that it, the brand is Ornby and Ornby is a well-known manufacturer of um, scale uh, railroad scale train model uh, railroad trains okay and here yes this one is new for this to oof sorry guys I need to get a little closer I was saying oof once again the air balloon getting around enough guys it is old I enough please and there the reindeer stable Santa's reindeer stables is new for this 2024 uh, season amazing guys amazing it's beautiful it's once again for a Santa's Wonderland collection and those buildings I remember uh, let me remember that they are not porcelain but resin all the Santa's Wonderland collection is not porcelain but resin and those two the shack for um, <coughs> the shacks for uh, Santa's reindeers Blitzen Dancer and the other two Dasher and Donner in the corner there are new once again for this 2024 section so this is a, a wonderful wonderful corner there and the Arctic Sanctuary there with the reindeers if it's from past season but all those four one two three four and uh, the uh, reindeers stable are brand new for this 2024 beautiful guys they are beautiful and there what it is this one too is new the Lil Murphy's uh, Slade uh, shop what it is a nonsense is the washing station in the corner for reindeers come on come on guys I know they exist a uh, washing machine for uh, dogs and I can understand it but this is exaggerated wash a reindeer in plain North Pole with some water they will freeze to death they will freeze to death this is as always an exaggeration without the washing station there for reindeers it is a good building but instead there they ruined it in my little awful opinion obviously it's just my opinion completely ruined it. the other things yes but that no and then santa's a shack there with santa's having a little pose there a little break <coughs> but uh, and i will say about uh, something else when sh i will show you a particular building for this uh, uh, season but come on Santa's in plain view in front of a window come on get him some privacy good having a scene but maybe not like that maybe place Santa's at 90 degrees looking towards another uh, wall but not in plain view like that I, I don't understand the errors they continue to make and uh, here I don't think there is uh, nothing new no, yes this church is new this church is new but the rest no and uh, this is the mountain section with some uh, ice pond and people skating around and yes okay now i see it 
last season I was saying last season they placed in a line all the Norman Rockwell no, sorry, sorry Norman Rockwell buildings once beside the other like what will have been the representation the copy of his famous most, uh, famous painting and that wasn't good for people who likes having villages in different levels like this one and guys please look at this now they mix the things Norman Rockwell Norman Rockwell and this is the most expensive building from Norman Rockwell no maybe the big giant house but they also mix it with one of the uh, novelties for this 2024 season for Caddington section and I think everyone almost everyone in the world will want to get it but uh, and normally they should move the quartz should move but be advised guys this is like last season Carlos Cafe look at the real dimension of the figurines and look at the children there this lady has a children in her arms but the children uh, maybe it is a little girl yes a little girl it is no I don't know because it is from back but the singers are in a smaller scale even the singer inside and this is sorry this is uh, okay now they are they are moving and they there is also some music some song coming out of it <coughs> uh, Christmas uh, at the pavilion in the park if I'm correct but I can be wrong all the figurines inside are in a smaller scale this is once again another nonsense look at the dimension of this one with the girl the, in blue there and the other children too small even the singers not the right scale come on they would they would have a fit inside normal dimension scale fear scaled figurines big error I know you want to get these all around the world people want to get these because it is sight and sounds singing people moving people and uh, it is perfect for uh, Christmas holidays but no thank you with under dimensioned figurines once again it's unbearable it's really unbearable okay so Norman Rockwell from last season the Stockbridge shop etc the big house here and those are from last season but they mixed also the gazebo from uh, nor from standard uh, collection with one of the most famous figurines inside a couple kissing on the bench and the fountain that is uh, not working uh, no it's not working because I have the same and it is not working <coughs> and then they have mixed also with some of the new uh, card uh, carriages and the slave for this 2024 season a mini carousel and uh, what I ate but I had to buy it because it was the only uh, building um, watchable from two seasons ago the Tannenbaum uh, clock tower that is not porcelain that is pure resin plastic at least here the they had the decency not to make the uh, the hotel balloon turning around it is a pity for that building no Lamax please don't do it okay and but the normal Rockwell buildings are marvelous but much more than 200 euros for those buildings so 200 USD for those buildings if I can get the price in some minutes I will show you the price and big uh, 
I like how they place uh, the, these stairs here in the corner at 90 degrees, no, at 45 degrees. But those two pick up are good for normal work, well, but not for a Victorian era in village. But the scenes inside are wonderful. Last one, guys, here. Uh, only facades, once again. Only facades, as I was saying, with the most beautiful clock tower ever made by Lemax. This one, absolutely marvelous. Once again, they added some Magno rails. Look, <clears throat> I will try to find because if they have this Magno rail here somewhere inside there, I will find them. And this was the Magno rail I used for last season uh, snowboarding park that I've shown you in my last season uh, video and all facades here, the new church there beautiful representation there with these with these uh, corner here but only facades there some other market stores there and I think it is enough for these villages guys I found them the sliders, the magnetic sliders these, uh, those are from a company near Milano, near Milan. It's from an Italian company, uh, Glida. It is an uh, online store. They also have an online store. Very expensive, very expensive. 174 um, USD or Euros is equivalent. Okay, let me see how long this is. Okay, it is... Uh, it can be hided with something like you can see there they are now showing that once you have installed it you can uh, you can cover the magno rails with something and uh, this is the length i don't know the length it is not written the length uh, glider platform one basic kit gliders are because they also have a bigger one uh, one almost 200 euros or 200 usd and this was the one they used to uh, make the snowboard park moving last season this is uh, only the power source there and the lady <coughs> so it needs to be hidden behind everything and you place the magnets under the figurines or under the building or under the cars and then it just goes around and round and round but it's not just a matter of making um, an oval <laughs> and by the way they use the same connectors i use this one it is uh, you can make whatever design you want, something getting around, etc. or not. They also have, uh, this is not sponsored, okay guys, but they also have uh, an online <coughs> uh, shop and I think they, um, they uh, export everywhere in the world. It is a Magno Rail, I've, I had seen it uh, uh, for other things and they use cox to transfer the movement it is the uh, power source and here you connect the main center piece that is uh, um, where you have inside the, the motor and the cox that transfer the motor and you see right now so i'm not the only one using some cox guys uh, an Italian uh, company maybe once I will uh, get home and I will edit this video I will add <coughs> down there the link to their site to their sh online shop but 
um, some of my viewers already asked me about it and I've replied in one of my past video from some uh, some weeks ago and it is flexible guys you see it is flexible and you place everything like that and then you use some screw to block it and then the final piece get inside and uh, then the cogs transfer movements to the entire chain okay guys so magno rails and those are the magnets uh, rounded small magnets and uh, the cogs will transfer the movement all along the the rail using uh, the chain okay, that is a plastic chain etc and that will push inside okay so very ingenious uh, very ingenious and uh, it will uh, get but it's not that cheap guys for the, the basic platform 174 mm. is not that cheap but i found it okay guys maybe it was there even last season and i haven't seen it but guys it is there the rails the magna rails i hope that uh, the music will not copyright my video but i will edit it as always what i've just shown you some minutes ago before the magna rails this is the cre christmas at the park pavilion it is not um porcelain but it is uh, from 2024 and it is pure resin and uh, with the non in scale figurines but look at the price guys wow 175 very exaggerated and as always where you get new it is from this 2024 collection the santa's castle and once again i haven't yes it was somewhere but i haven't seen it 200 usd or 200 euros resin yes obviously because it is a santa's wonderland collection but as many of the new buildings from this 2024 they added some giant candles here and on the other buildings and i don't like them like that but maybe you like them all in movement the um, the lights on the candles are really flickering around and the santas and mrs santas are uh, getting around as the nutcrackers there they're getting around if i uh, get a look at it i can show you then the music box there the merry music box 170 new also this one was from last season uh, the castle are already seen and uh, the christmas cake factory once again 170 and uh, this one too it is big and new the <coughs> north pole outfitters that it is uh, good for this uh, collection here for the santa's wonderland but not for a uh, victorian christmas villa because of these giant mobile there <coughs> and uh, some stands there that were not used to be uh, the beautiful uh, clock tower is 100 euros so 100 let me see i don't remember oops the year of production simply because i'm right-handed and i was using my left hand but <laughs> sorry let me get it it was 2014 so 10 years ago for this magnificent and the steel in catalog clock tower from lemax then other news <laughs> once again two exaggerated buildings macarons on the <laughs> victorian era uh, christmas village no too early Victorian here Christmas village for macarons and the disease for sugar and spice collection These those also from sugar and spice the Santa's as an egg shack you have seen it is almost a 70 and uh, oh, Very pricey this season all the buildings at 88 almost 88 for these and This was the scene I ate 
free reindeer wash in plain North Pole. You wash some reindeers. Wow, Lil Murphy's Slate Shop. And sorry, I thought this was new, but it is not. It is from 2022. Sorry, my bad. The reindeer stable that I've shown you when I was showing you all the villagers is not new. Uh, I'm not perfect, you know, and so that was my mistake here. Uh, something old. Then let me show you the prices of something of the new collection. New collection, and I'm approaching the copyrighted music. This is the Trail Firehouse, so Liberty almost 68 but guys a firehouse with candles with lit candles on top of it come on come on another nonsense they should protect for fire hazards and not use candles on a building that's another thing that's why I will not buy in this because of the candles there okay you can't add the candles I will not speak of those things that I will not name nor this one the carolers is almost the same price the same price as last season but as you have seen me modifying it the singers are in a smaller scale nothing more new yes this one a building it is 65 and this one too is one residential building very beautiful uh, I, I don't think i will add uh, another residential building to my collection because i like doing myself the the houses as you have seen 2024 uh, with uh, whitey residence porcelain lighted building but this is an amazing building guys absolutely well designed oops absolutely well designed and uh, with uh, some christmas balls etc colorful and uh, the combination of colors is very 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 good okay christmas boutique this is from last season 2023 i think yes 2023 <coughs> the buildings that impress me i tend to remember everything but it is not at the same level of nora's christmas boutique that's why i haven't bought it village library this is from last season no 2022 uh 2022 um <coughs> the tannenbaum clock tower etc something else new that i wanted to show you because i want to show you what not the nonsense 63 almost 63 for the police precinct <coughs> it is viable um but it is not one of my priorities a candle shop that it is once again a fire hazard with all the flickering and the little the candles there they are not real but a building like that once again the new tradition that it is an awful tradition from lemax to add a giant version of what the shop sells from the outside and on top of the of the roof in this case wow uh, this one was the fourth choice if I wanted to choose something simply because this can be used from different sides the crane's carriage 63 and it is the crane carriage and it can it is surely for this 2024 season yes obviously it is porcelain and I cannot show you the side because they always put just one side but it can be used from a different side 
Lucy's chocolate shop will always be a must for everyone, another church. Pet Kingdom also is new for this 2024 season, 83. Uh, okay, due to the fact that it is not that heavy, I don't think it is uh, porcelain and it is from 2023 but they marked new there, but it is instead from 2023. Uh, churches, churches, ch yes. So maybe, and it is the last one, so I should <laughs> get it. Maybe this is one of the decent buildings for this 2024. I have a post office, the second street post office, but it is too modern for Caddington and uh, they are starting using the new LED and power system for this 2024 season. It is porcelain, yes, and it is from for 20, from 2024 collection. Clearview Post Office, and it is 53, only 53. This one is not for uh, Caddington uh, Village. The candy galore more and okay this one guys beautiful building yes well designed yes snowman there children but come on a nanny no sorry grandma in plain view so i was saying grandma showing up in play view at the window like it was the red light district in amsterdam come on come on have a little respect for uh, grandmothers and uh, grandfathers this is another nonsense why they don't get inside instead of uh, having grandma shaking her hands from the from the window and like in the at the red light district in amsterdam you have curtains to close the window this is not this is absurd okay this is absurd and anti 5 85 for this one here 2024 it is uh, porcelain obviously but guys guys we are getting down 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 to music here i will shut up So this one, another nonsense from Lemax. This is more like a street food and not Victorian era buildings having this kind of stands from the outside of the buildings. It's like modern street food. Come on. And it is stated for Caddington collection once again, once again.
saw, guys, when I was talking about pricey Norman Rockwell collection, 230, 260 for the main house, 220 for the antiques shops there, 184. The, mar the market stores guys so this one is too modern for Caddington street food obviously but the um, the outfit is too modern this one may be good for uh, for Caddington village and let's see if it is lighted no it's not lighted otherwise they would have a uh, row teeth so they are not lighted this one no this one yes <coughs> so this one too is too modern okay too modern 
the village news is from last season yes it is from last season but once again uh, I see some lights but it is it has no lights it is simulated the lights inside it has no lights inside this one is beautiful guys giant let me show it to you like there this one is beautiful it is uh, what it is this yes the coffee the coffee uh, was held it is very very beautiful okay big yes it takes so much space maybe I will try to arrange it somehow <clears throat> but it is a table accent it is not for villagers it's more a table accent but it is absolutely wonderful 23 uh, even <laughs> the egg the egg stand there but heavy very heavy they are very heavy they are more table accent than figurines for your Christmas village then uh, the clown there uh, <coughs> the clown cart yes 2024 collection the caravan that was the name I was searching before this one too oops this one too 2024 and it is a caravan for music festival and something new something not new all those are missing some light no they have light inside yes they have light inside but they are not from this season collection they are from past past the seasons too modern too modern but also expensive this one too is too modern the outfits are too modern okay this is the one I was talking to you about last season the stout shack there it is good for any village because the outfits are not too modern those uh, cap here were used also in Victorian era and this stout shack here can be even if those under pressure tanks there are not in pure Victorian era a very big amount of things to choose between here nothing is new I think no but it is huge guys always huge So they have increased the collection, the Louvid collection, this collection, okay, with some giant, wonderful building. This is uh, for uh, um, a fanfare for the carnival section, but 200 euros. So they have implemented even a carnival section. Louvid have implemented even a carnival section. Those are two smalls. Those lamp lighters are magnificent, guys. Absolutely magnificent, but it is so, so light uh, weighted and it is uh, lighted, obviously, as you can see, batteries and the plug. So, but as always, I think those lanterns don't do enough light, but it is good. Another cart another cart from Louisville 30 euros then figurines I don't think they have implemented some new figurines maybe this one and uh, luckily for me they didn't mark on top of it the year of production 
Uh, no, I don't see it. Maybe you do, but I don't. So, as I already told you once upon a long time ago, um, they used it to make such wonderful pieces with well-defined um, faces. Now, this is not well-defined. I think this one is like that, and this one has a little problem. It is detached, the figurine is detached, but they are handmade, as I always told you. This one is so beautiful. I don't know the price, because it's not stated the price, and but the organ grinder, since the one I have died abruptly because I made an error and it exploded from inside, it is one of my figurines, the one I modeled by myself, I 3D modeled them. This organ grinder can be a good addition, but I sincerely don't know the price. Maybe I will get it. Santa's on a Piaggio scooter. This one is absolutely one of the top sell from new Lemma, uh, sorry, new Louisville uh, figurines. Come on, the kiss, kissing goodbye, and it has always the same price, twelve fifty. This one is from last season. This one too. This one too. This one. Maybe it's from this new. The, it, it is fuming something, some sausages, I think. Okay. And those new fences are not that bad. And, and th those ones are beautiful. Maybe I will get this one. I don't think it is too bad, this one. But it will be a surprise because they haven't stated the price. But maybe I will get it, maybe not. It's not now the time for deciding. Some bridges, some gazebos, etc. Those are all the collections. This one, no, it is the new card from this 2024 collection. Not that big, but once again, it is the base that is bothering me. I should modify every and single one of those new uh, pieces there because it takes so much space a base like that. But this card here with mom and daughter getting around is so good. So, winter carriage ride almost 16 euros or USD once again. This one is huge, but this is a table accent and another a slate. Okay. Another winter ride with a couple yeah, on the on this carriage. Okay, very beautiful, very well done this one. This one I have it. Here nothing new, I think. This is the one I wanted from last season, the Puppet Theater. <clears throat> that would have a fit very well inside my carnival uh, section. But too late for this Puppet one. It was out of stock last season. Uh, the new band, uh, and, uh, the marching. Uh, here it is too modern for Caddington, even if this is new, absolutely new there. <coughs> but it is once again huge, guys, huge. Uh, ah, some other carriages, some uh, Christmas tree seller with his cart. And here we have all the... Sp uh, yes, I was talking about this one. This is a moving tree, guys. This is a moving tree, so it is animated. It is spooky, it is not in scale with anything, but this is 
not that bad. So like Santa's helping and then the um, the tree is falling down and it is from Louisville once again this one. So Louisville is increasing his collection but they are not in a scale for Lamax Christmas villages. Some different trees, those are not from well-known brands. Tiny houses there. Then the spooky town, and the spooky town has never been cheap, okay? Never never been cheap told you it was new told you it was new 220 what it is called Halloween village phantom and this one is absolutely for from the 2024 collection and uh, but it is top 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 design but guys 220 euros the new collection so let's see some new yes some small houses all at the same price, all at 29.99, so 30 euros. Wow, I haven't seen it. This also is wonderful. <laughs> this fountain here is so creepy, but so beautiful. Okay, uh, new, the tree I've shown you is new there. Not that, not that expensive. Two different uh, trees there. I don't think it is the same, no, absolutely not and not that expensive both of those two trees there <coughs> figurines i don't know it, uh, i don't know why lemax don't do such marvelous design even for the normal collections this is so amazing guys this is the quality that should still have Lemax guys absolutely wonderful designs and you don't get uh, something uh, unsuited for these buildings they are perfectly perfectly there but as I always told you the other collection are losing a quality each season and here guys all the figurines for from all the collections from Lemax.
the nativity creeps section is always extended here in Italy. <coughs> but you don't have a real scale and uh, you get pieces having different uh, scales so this one is giant compared to this one but the ships there are the same okay so a little nonsense for the uh, for the activity creeps okay by the way, it is called presepe in Italian. Okay, they are absolutely well done, as always, but such different sizes, and they are all have the same color. But come on, if you want this piece that you like, this one has absolutely not the same scale. Come on. Look at the door there and look at the door here. So at least make all of them the same scale, but it's not regla uh, there is no regulation on that. So you risk to have <coughs> any kind of sizes. giant cobblestones those one are not that bad it is ceramic but not even that expensive It's 3 p.m. It starts to be very crowded on Saturday and Sundays. This shop is always so crowded. And I spent too much time talking to the manager here. So to the manager of the Lemax section, not the manager in general of this, of the, of the store, but the manager of the Lemax section. I spent almost an hour talking with her all the figurines and once again not the standardization of dimensions between figurines how can you place this beside this it's not the same scale so this one is not as not the same scale of the cow of the of the donkey there okay and those two pieces obviously are not the same scale it has always been a problem with people liking Christmas uh, creeps, nativity Christmas creeps. The dimension, the scale of the figurines and everything else. So this is in scale with Lemax. But uh, it, they are not suited and uh, by the way guys, they are absolutely much better defined than Lemax figurines. Just look at this Roman soldier there. Absolutely, and it is resin as Lemax collection. But look at the definition of the faces and the hands and the everything else. Okay, they are four four euros each piece, I think. Yes, 4.95, almost 5 euros each piece. But compared to two Lemax quality, those are outstanding. Those are maybe a little too tall for Lemax. But look at the faces, guys. Absolutely amazing expression. And this quality here, 20 years ago, Lemax had it. But 
<coughs> how can I place such a figure in in any Caddington village? Uh, outfits are two millennia, not not yes, almost uh, oh, two millennia in the past compared to Lemax Caddington village. Impossible. Impossible. A bunch of sheep there. They only knew cow, sheep, and donkeys at that time. Okay, sheep, cows, and donkeys. Nothing else. Look at the definition. Yes, this is huge compared, but all the figurines having the same dimension of Lamax have a perfect, a perfect definition. Look at the expression. Everything here. And absolutely those figurines are in movement, are dynamics figurines. Absolutely nothing compared to Lemax, where they stand in some static pose. Those are figurines that always do something, okay? They are in movement, it's like having a picture of them working, living, etc. That's another problem with Lemax. Even modern figurines, uh, this one is missing the spare, obviously, but it is stated here, ask for the spare. Obviously, someone used it to store them. <laughs> That's why they haven't uh, pay, placed them there. This is a nonsense. Violins, music instruments like those ones doesn't, didn't exist when uh, Jesus was born. Nonsense, another nonsense, like Lemax, full of nonsense, come on. How a violin ca could have existed in that time, or this mandolin there, absolutely awful. This one here, yes, the pipe bag used to exist because they used the uh, ship skin to make them. Marvelous, absolutely wonderful figurines.
guys it's uh, 3 36 p.m. so I spent more than three hours inside the Paraga shop this season as I told you some uh, minutes ago I, I had to talk for at least 45 to one hour to the Lemax manager the woman she is fantastic I know her since 20 2015 I think and we spent some times talking especially I told her that department 56 is invading Europe from the Netherlands and it's better for her if she start thinking about having department 56 even here for next season and uh, I will get in touch with her lately maybe just before Christmas and we can discuss so we can discuss a little more about it because she doesn't know anything about Department 56 but uh, when something started to invade Europe from the Netherlands it is sure that sooner or later it will also invade uh, the rest of Europe so it's better for her because the quality of Department 56 is always the same high level quality buildings etc so what I bought inside my last 30 minutes were a hell because it was so crowded and look when I arrived at the parking lot was completely was completely empty now it is full and it is the this is the secondary uh, parking lot so when uh, uh, the last 30 minutes with all the children uh, crying uh, joyfully all around the parents uh, everyone and there were people from every age young one old one etc uh, whew, it was uh, really difficult to, to film everything in the last uh, 30 minutes yeah, at the end I bought two Lamax uh, buildings and the sun has disappeared the guys and I am just one kilometer less than a mile from uh, a giant cow barn <laughs> uh, but I hope you don't get and uh, move from the cows um, what I was saying so I bought the two buildings because I couldn't decide just for one I will show the box when I get home but I don't think I will do uh, a first unboxing and full review right now simply because I needed to do something more for my Christmas village in, during this weekend and uh, I will do for both of them a full unboxing and full review in some days not at the same time obviously then I bought some figurines and some little stuff uh, some backgrounds to uh, complete my uh, backgrounds for this 2024 season I'm always not in plain view with this uh, front side camera and so let me get back because I think I will get some rain and during and the trick the trick the trip back home my awful English is eating and eating even more outside in plain countryside see you in some let's say half an hour 40 minutes time to get home good guys I'm at home and it is 5 11 p.m. and I left home this morning at half past 11 a.m. so I let you count how many hours it took me to go there there was much more traffic uh, getting back home simply because it was after 4 p.m. and everyone started to, to come home from the countryside etc what I bought there I bought some backgrounds those four are identical and are maybe sorry for the camera a better background this one is the one I used last oops, last season but it is a, a aerial point of view a point of view from a plane uh, up in, in the mountains maybe not too much difference of depth of field there but those one have a main point of view here 
then a different uh, depth of view ending with a big giant mountain. I will use those one, I think, then those one in emergency if I need some more. Canal fences, they never stop to be useful, so I bought four more packages of canal fences that this season is their anniversary, 10 years on the market, the best the best fences ever made by, um, by Lemax, even if uh, I don't have a canal or you don't have a canal, use them because they are perfect to prevent people from falling down and also figurines, obviously. And so they, don't, they do not prevent the point of view of the camera. So you can see through. Then, spare light bulbs. Uh, they are very useful because who knows at some point the bulbs can push, uh, fuse and break down and it's, it also has uh, some spare cords inside so four spare uh, light bulbs, LED light bulbs. Now figurines guys, this one is 2024 I think it is the Brewmaster item 42322. It's not purely Caddington, not purely winter time, but with all the beer it has already drink, drank, drink, okay, I don't know. Um, it, it, it doesn't feel anything more and it is almost completely drank. Okay, so two barrels and then a glass in his hands. It is the brewmaster. Uh, you can adapt it to any kind of village. Item 42328. Uh, it is the hot chestnut cellar. I know, I already have two chestnut, hot chestnut cellars. But this one, at least, it's not that huge and the figurine is separated, so I think this is a good version. Once again, not entirely suited, and the, um, the outfit is not purely Victorian, but it can fit the chariot there, uh, the carriage there is uh, a steam one, so it is adapted to any Christmas village, but especially to Caddington Christmas uh, Village. 2024, I think it is the umbrella repair. Um, repairer, yes, I think so. Once again, middle between end of the Caddington Victorian era. And umbrellas uh, were already used during Victorian time. Then, how handsome, and this is pure Victorian, pure Caddington 2024, once again, and it is called, it is item 42352, so I repeat, 42352, how handsome, it is called, a mother and uh, uh, her son there, uh, she's in typical pose of someone taking a picture, but then the the artist who modeled this remembered maybe that uh, there weren't cameras at the time, and uh, but because she had the two wrists like that, so close it completely, like in origin she had something in her hands. But I don't think she is ready to punch uh, her son in the face like that. Okay, punching her son. But who knows what Lemax artists have in mind. 2024, this is item 42332. Uh, a seller, a vendor of some sort, chasing a cat with a fish in its mouth. I think this is called uh, 
fell in fish teeth or something like that. Okay, fell in fish teeth. But also this one is suited for any type of Christmas village. The <coughs> lady here, it is the vegetable seller, item 42317. It is a standard pose common to other seller. Uh, uh, on the on, on the on the Lemax collection, so typical pose, doing nothing, simply proposing some vegetables. She had a basket on her back, then a basket on her right uh, arm, and uh, maybe a cabbage on her uh, left hand. Okay, so the vegetable seller, not my preferred one. Item 42329, uh, savory and sweet vendor. Okay, this is a mini oven, and uh, strangely, it is a mini version of these oven there. <laughs> a little, very, very similar, okay, to the hot chestnut uh, seller. And a sign post here, pies and pastries. Uh, the young lady there with her portable small oven cooking on the street some pies and pastries. Okay, or maybe because it was used to do so in that time, not everyone had uh, an oven uh, in their houses, so they made the uh, they made um, uh, the pie, the pastry, etc. And then uh, lend them to someone who had an oven to cook. It was used for bread, etc. Uh, okay, uh, but this is the pastry seller. Now, the two buildings I both. Then this is the uh, Clearview Post Office, Porcelain, item uh, 45247. I will do a full review in some days. Unfortunately, all the boxes were damaged like this one. I couldn't choose anything but those one. Uh, okay, and uh, it is LED inside, it has LED, and I hope that this doesn't mean that the adapter isn't inside but has just the bulb because otherwise I will be mad because it's not marked on the box that it has no um, no power adapter and you should have both it okay mm, I will be mad furious but up to me to open this and the second building because I told you these can this is one of the rare items buildings from Lemax that can be used not just from the front side but even from both sides there another one in porcelain and it is a cranes carriages item 45258-2024 Lemax collection and I will do a full review of this one too in some days and obviously also the first unboxing. I will not open them right now. That is all for this annual field trip to Peraga. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my in the field of full English and see you for part 15 of the 2024 season. I think I will go on with part 15 before the full review of the two buildings. Bye guys.